There are a lot of problems in the world, and fairly important ones at that. Global warming, communities without clean water or food to eat, undisclosed global pandemics and incurable diseases running rampant. But most important of all, topping the list of all atrocities in our modern world would be shitty mobile games. You know exactly what I'm talking about. For all the Clash of Clans, Monument Valleys, and Bloons of the world, there are the Candy Crush clones and endless idle games made only for monetary gain. But in my opinion, the worst offender of the shitty mobile game crime are ports or adaptations of actually good game franchises. Okay, okay, now imagine this. There's this game franchise that's just stellar. Great gameplay loop, super fun levels, and an all-around charm to it. But there hasn't been a new entry in the series since 2013. Now walks in Peggle, a PopCap game that fills all criteria and is announced to get a new entry in the series. Peckle is, as Steam defines it, a casual puzzle arcade game. Aim of the game is to use your little pachinko ball to hit these pegs. You shoot said ball out of a cannon at the top of the screen and use your mouse to aim. Each level in the game will give you a certain amount of balls to shoot, and if you run out, you lose. Earn points from hitting blue pegs, which serve as the game's fodder, double your points on a given shot from purple pegs, which can be thought of as a bonus, and clear out all the orange pegs to beat a level. That's the point of the game. But where it gets interesting and really shakes it up is the green pegs. In every level there are also two green pegs, and depending on the peggle master you are given slash pick, the green pegs each activate a power-up. The levels are structured using the master you are given, and the entire game centers on you using different peggle masters' abilities to beat levels. Pretty simple and easy, but addicting as hell. I have played a fair bit of peggle in my time, and let me tell you, this game is super fun. Maybe it's the sick plays you can make, or maybe it's the way the game makes you hype, but goddamn, this game is genuinely responsible for some of the best times I have ever had while playing video games. It sounds silly, but sitting at a call with some friends streaming Peggle is an absolute blast. The game just feels good, and the game plays well to boot. The controls are super simplistic, but end up with a lot of control in the player's hands. Using the pegs that are left to try and make opportunities to hit ones in hard to reach places, or hitting multiple trick moves at once is great. If 70% of the control is in the player's hands, then the other 30% is the game giving you freebies. The game relies on a lot of luck, but the luck feels as though it's cheating in the player's favor. The game wants you to win, and it results in a fun puzzle arcade game that churns out good levels, interesting power-ups, and fun scenarios. Some would call it divine fun. The problem here arises, though, when you imagine Peggle, but this time the game hates you and wants to make money off of your frustration and its ineptitude. That's what Peggle Blast is. It's an Abrahamic game which is the antithesis of what Peggle and Peggle Knights stood for. It's a mobile adaptation of the Peggle formula with 195 levels, which contrasts heavily to Peggle's 50. You might be fooled into thinking about this as an improvement, but oh no no, think again. Each Peggle level has a unique background and a fresh idea to get across to the player, but Peggle Blast's background are as static as they come and are the same throughout every level and master. This new Peggle is an imposter wearing Peggle's skin. It works the same as the Peggles we all know and love, but this time with worse cartoony graphics, inferior physics, and rot at its core. The original Peggle strived off of the satisfaction it gave players to simply play the game. These qualities of being fun and satisfactory are lost in Peggle Blast. In Peggle, when you do something cool, maybe you'll get a point multiplier, or a pop-up telling you that you just did a slick trick. Maybe Jimmy Lightning will pop up in a corner telling you that you have mad skills. Hell, when you are just about to finish a level and hit the final orange peg, the game slows down, a drum roll kicks in to build suspense, and wham! It starts blasting, ode to joy, and fireworks go off like you just accomplished the most prestigious of feats. And you feel good, because throughout all that, the game was fair and fun. <laughs> Peggle Blast makes some on paper potentially good additions. It has power ups. Okay, that could be fun, and never mind, they're bought with real world money that in later levels you borderline have to pay for to be at a challenge. It also has that same stupid mobile game stamina system that we know and despise. Five lives that recharge every 30 minutes, or you can ask your Facebook friends for more. Nothing but bad systems across the board in terms of what it added and changed. It also has stupid daily challenge board and all other hallmarks of a bad mobile game you would expect. There is a change very symbolic of the game's mentality made to the bucket of Peggle Blast. The typical Peggle bucket is made to be slick. It has giant edges that lead to rebounds and awesome plays, and it scrolls across the screen at a speed where it always feels possible to have it make it into the bucket by some miracle. The bucket's sole goal is to help you make cool plays, and it works. The blast bucket, on the other hand, is sluggish at best and works against you. It has this dumb Winnie the Pooh honey jar type shape that makes rebounds almost impossible. It is such a shadow of its former self that it hurts. 
and that is the spirit of Blast. There are levels that are built from the ground up with the sole goal of making you use all your power-ups so that you spend real-life money on the in-game currencies. The game isn't trying to challenge the player so they feel more rewarded, it is challenging you so you can pay up. This results in the most hard-ass levels and the most piss-poor rewards. Peggle challenges the player whilst still rooting for you. Peggle Blast is intentionally obtuse to try and make you spend more of your money so that the EA higher-ups can lay off another 50 employees. The game couldn't be idealistically more of a different experience than playing the Peggles of old. The negligible backstory of Peggle places you in the Peggle Institute. You're there to learn to become a Peggle Master. The other masters there, like the Unicorn Bjorn and the Egyptian Cat Tut, are there to help you. They assure you that with patience and persistence, you can achieve anything you want. If you lose, you can always play again, whenever you feel like it. It's possible to play Peggle forever. Not physically possible, but Peggle wouldn't complain. You can play until you want to quit. Peggle believes in your potential. Peggle likes you. Peggle Blast hates you. When you have only five lives and are fighting hard to keep them, of course the game will throw a bunch of nonsensed obstacles to make you lose them as fast as possible. And thus it begins. There's a fireball that burns any ball that it touches, stupid gnomes that spread oil on pegs that make them lose all their momentum, and to clear the peg now it needs to be hit three times. Some pegs are frozen and must be hit three times to be cleared, bombs must be hit a set number of turns, or oh, they went off, automatic lose. The new objectives are a spit in the face of what Peggle used to stand for. Peggle Blast would want you dead if it meant you'd pay more. Keep that in mind, with all the dumb additions meant to slow the gameplay to a halt and remove any satisfaction you might have, to beat the levels you only have five tries. Peggle Blast would kick your dog just to enjoy your desperation and then would charge you money not to do it again. The Peggle Institute was the target of a hostile takeover by EA and it's not hard to see. <sighs> okay, okay, maybe I care a bit too much. As much as I hate Peggle Blast, I love the OG Peggle experiences. Peggle, much like other games of its time made by PopCap, such as Bejeweled, PVZ, and Zuma, are timeless experiences. So let's spin this video and let it serve as a public PSA to play these classics, because unlike Blast, they absolutely rock. The Peggle gameplay formula holds up to this day and always will, and Peggle Nights as well as Deluxe in a bundle is less than $10 on Steam. The fact I even wrote this jokey four-page script dogging on what I believe to be an unworthy successor to these games should speak volumes. You owe it to yourself to play it and spend a night pegging with some friends, or even just chillin' alone enjoying one of gaming's many masterpieces. And thanks for watching. I've been Griffin, and you've been listening to some guy talk passionately about Peggle for just over six minutes.